Good morning Lighthouse, my name's Gareth. I've been asked to continue on the series of our favourite worship songs, so um, I'm going to talk to you this morning about one of my favourite worship songs. Um, so many great worship songs have already been mentioned, um, like Oceans um, and uh, Waymaker. But when I think back to one of my favourite songs, it's one that I always go back to. Um, it it's kind of stems from when I was learning to play the guitar, so it was one of the first worship songs that I learned to play. Um, and it's still one of the songs that I play um, when I'm warming up or practicing or um, if I just want to have a play with the guitar. So on that note, I thought we'd have a quick game of Be The Intro. Um, I'd love to know in the comments if you get it. <laughs> So that was, of course, Matt Redman's Heart of Worship, or as I've always known it, When the Music Fades. Um, I think it's a, a really important um, song, um, and its message is really important, especially for, for today. Um, the story goes that uh, Matt Redman was at a church um, that was being led by uh, Mike Pilavachi, and Mike Pilavachi challenged the church to really um, look into their heart at what worship is um, what is it when we when we don't have music um, um, and this was the song that that he came up with um, so it goes when the music fades and all is stripped away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart I bring you more than a song for a song is in itself is not what you have required you might search much deeper within through the way things appear and you're looking into my heart and I think that's really important for today because our whole world has been stripped away at the moment um, uh, and it's really important to really look inside at, at what it is that God is asking of you um, especially when it comes to worship it doesn't have to be with music it could be with art or being creative in various ways um, or Anything that you do, if you do well um, in mind that you're doing it for, for God or Jesus, then I believe um, that that is your act of worship. So, so yeah, this was uh, a favourite song of mine for a long time. Um, and it also has some personal kind of history for me in that it was the first song that me and my now wife uh, led worship together with. Um, it was for uh, a youth event that was done by Nourish Youth for Christ um, and we were asked to lead worship and, and this was the song. Um, so it's always hold uh, a place in my heart. Um, so that's my favourite worship song. Um, thanks for watching.